Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our iPower hosting account. As you can see we've already opened the getting started email and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the control panel. We'll log in. And here you can see the iPower VDeck 4 control panel. We'll go down to the website section and click on the WordPress icon. Here you can see the Mojo Marketplace installer. We'll click the install button. The message asks us which domain we would like to install WordPress on and the domain here is correct ncmtest04.com this is an important form field it asks us in which directory would we like to install WordPress as we will be using WordPress as the content management system for our entire website we'd like to install it in the root directory if we were to use WordPress as the CMS for only part of the site for instance the blog then we could install it in a directory named blog or whatever directory name we'd like to use. For our purposes we're going to be installing it in the root and therefore will not complete this field. You cannot delete directory here so don't worry about that it will not install in a directory named directory. We'll click the check domain button. While the Mojo Marketplace is certainly a capable installer, it's also one of the slowest installers we use. You can ignore this message as it is our experience that it is almost always incorrect. We're going to click on the show advanced options box and here we'll choose a site name. We'll call our site NCM test site. Admin username. Our email address is fine admin password. The password they've created for us is fine. We'll copy that as we'll need this password later to log into the WordPress dashboard. Automatically create a new database for this installation? That's correct. We'll leave it checked. Next we'll check off agreeing to the terms and conditions. Then we simply click the install now button. We'll get rid of this lovely pop-up ad. This is the WordPress installation progress bar. The rest of this page is mostly advertising. You can ignore it. The only thing we really need to pay attention to is this progress bar. But I will warn you that it is rather slow. There is nothing wrong with the video. Mojo Marketplace is simply taking its time. message tells us that our installation is complete and we'll click on the view credentials button. 
we'll get rid of the lovely pop-up ad. We'll click on the view credentials. We'll get rid of the lovely pop-up ad once again. And here we have our WordPress credentials. Here's the domain where WordPress has been installed, the admin URL. This is the URL we'll use to access the WordPress dashboard. Here's our username. And once again, this is the password. Step 2, Browse Themes and Plugins. This is basically just a ploy to sell you WordPress themes and plugins, so you can just ignore that. We'll click on the admin link. We'll log in. And here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. From this left-hand menu, we can control all aspects of our WordPress site. To create a new post, we can use the plus new post link. And we would add a title for our post here. And we would add our content here and then click the publish button. We won't be creating a new post today. We'll simply take a look at our new site by using the visit site link at the top of the dashboard. And this is our new WordPress site. This is the default Hello World post. You can delete it using the WordPress dashboard. You can also change the look of your site by selecting a different theme, also using the WordPress dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.